Haters are gonna hate. Just remember that, all right? Disregard the noise. If I would have believed that people would have said, he can't get that, it's lost forever. This guy just got and went ahead and dropped this. Listen, that was their first. Hear the, the hater thinking, guys. I, I know we're gonna get up to the build now, but let me go ahead and vent. Come on, come on, you guys wanna vent with me. Look back at the comments. First comments when, when the, we lost the, the engine. For those that didn't watch it, there's a video that we lose an engine, okay? Someone said, you didn't lose an engine. You threw an engine down because you guys panicked. I saw everything. You didn't see everything. You saw what I wanted to show you, okay? Having that said, um, we lost an engine. Then the haters were like, you'll never get it back. Oh my God, these guys are pansies, uh, whatever. Then I go back and I get it and they're like, oh, what a rookie, bro. What a rookie. This guy got it back in uh, some old inflatable boat, whatever. So that was the next with us. When that wasn't enough, when actually I get to the bottom of the ocean, we actually go ahead and bring the engine from 100 feet up to the water. Then they say, oh God, did you see the ascent on that? Did you see the ascent? It went 100 miles an hour. It put, it put two lion fish at, at risk. So that was their third position. Then I go ahead and take it out of the water. We get it to the thing and then they say, well, how many reefs did you break? bringing that to shore so then that was another thing then we get it out we go ahead and we throw you know take it out put it in a, in a stand we actually get the water out and they're like that thing will never run that thing is fried it's dead watch mark my words all right so now all of a sudden we take it apart we're building it and now people are like it'll never run right so now they're starting to be like Oh wait, uh, maybe he might be doing this right, dude. Um, how do, babe? How do I scrub my comments on YouTube? That's where we're at now. All right, so it's kind of like a long video now. What you're gonna see, you're gonna see exactly us putting the engine together. We don't have it done yet. If you're seeing this, we don't. I don't know the end result yet. So um, little by little, we're doing it. It's something that is, you know, it costs money, and we got to make sure we both have time. Me and Rodolfo. Okay, so. We're working it. We're going to get this. But I want to show you the process of what we've done so far. All right? Guys, I'm Alfred Montaner. Thank you for watching. Let's continue watching this build. Disregard some of my craziness. I was really bored. There's not much to do while we're doing that. So, I mean, I might sound stupid and say a couple of things, but whatever. Put your comments below. All right? Let's do this. The beginning of part three has just commenced of this rebuild. All right, guys. We haven't been doing this... Um, you know one day to the next and all that stuff we kind of pickled it put corrosion x everywhere we needed to we flushed everything out we did everything that we needed to do and now we're starting to get it and we got some challenges like here this froze up it is what it is i mean we didn't get to it in time but we're cleaning out the block now making sure everything is perfect we worked on the pistons yesterday i wasn't here to film it but i'm gonna go ahead and show you those pistons now so you can see and then we have uh all the rings that are brand new that we're gonna put those so i'm gonna see what's going on with this here see if i can fix this um if not then you know whatever it is what it is we'll have to get another part using a razor blade just getting everything here we haven't flushed or cleaned this yet. Um, still has got some sand, but we're gonna start working on the block now. We actually already uh, worked on the piston, so we're doing it, we're doing it. This is one of my challenges right now, which so far I put some corrosion X and nothing. It is stuck, but whatever. Yeah, more money I gotta dump into this thing for YouTube. Things putting a hole in my pocket. Try it though. All right. Rodolfo's like, dude, let me work, bro. Let me work. All right, so. We're still at it. We're still at it, guys. It's making a scene. And I do not 
<coughs> want to spend more money that I don't have on fixing this sunken motor. Right now, Richard Hayes and all his minions are happy. Who's Richard Hayes? I don't know, some guy that had a pretty funny uh, comment on my channel. I mean, he, he, he was, uh, he literally started off with like, I really dislike you. And I was like, wow, that's, that's new. I haven't heard that one quick. I mean, I heard people, I've heard people say douche, this guy, annoying, I mean, but someone to start off, I really dislike you. I was like, oh, this guy's special. Let me go ahead and comment this guy's thing. But whatever. So this thing is still stuck. Um, that's partially, partially my fault. I didn't uh, lube it when we put it back. So I'll take the blame on that. So the cleaning continues. Good old Formula 88, guys. Out of Hialeah, Florida. The greaser. Just cleaning everything up. We've been scraping, scraping, scrape, scrape. scrape. Alright, let me show you guys the pistons. Here is Lippy Stone. Alright. See? It's nicely cleaned. Alright, so now we're gonna put the new rings and uh I'm still I'm letting this corrosion X sit on here see if I can get this moved and uh, we're about to start flushing this already here I mean very very thorough guys we want this thing to last I mean realistically it's probably gonna go out and be a nightmare but hey it makes good YouTube right here Becky what what no no <coughs> it didn't move did it yes it did why because we don't quit on this we, we're not gonna quit on you guy relax all right so now I gotta do some major major fixing here so Oh, everything has been degreased. We just got this on stock, so that's nice. But I don't know. I gotta see if it's worth it. Because if it makes sense to swap it out, I'll swap it out. You know? We'll see. I, th I think short term, the good thing is I'm gonna know everything that's that should have been changed. And if I didn't change it now, I'll at least know where to start after the fact. I wanna just get this thing going. So, you know? So those pistons can make her purr and we get some oil in her and you know then everything will be a little bit, bit more time and all right guys so that's it we're about to put this block together we're gonna start putting together so stay tuned we're gonna start assembling this bad boy I gotta stop saying all right, man. That guy's gonna hijack me and beat me up on my comment section. Friends, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna say uh, all right anymore. I'm gonna say friends. Friends. Damn, that kind of looks like a porno action there. What? <laughs> what is this? All right, guys, listen. Four-stroke four oil is being put on there right now. That's what he's putting on there. He's just looping it up on the cylinders. Okay. See that? 
Um, no, I'm gonna put on the comment section fisting <laughs> Mercury Verado. <laughs> oh, that is too funny. Uh, guys, you guys don't get my humor. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh my goodness. But she's coming along, guys. We're getting there. Um, look at the pistons. I'm trying to do this so he doesn't scream at me because I'm in his way. All right. Everything is nice and clean. See back here, everything has been cleaned up. Really, really good. It's a process, guys. But uh, listen, I think, uh, like I've told some people in my comment section, I could live knowing I failed. But I won't be able to live with the what if. So, and I'll give you guys that advice too from just experience. I'd rather fail. I think failure is a part of success. But I think uh, I know for a fact if I wouldn't have tried at least trying to rehab this engine and get it going, I would have said, What if I would have got on that? And I can't live with that. So, but we're getting there. Alfred, stop picking your buggers. We're going to school, gentlemen. All right, we are doing everything, like they say, but a book. All right, so see this here? All right, maybe I'll we'll see. I don't know. I don't know if you can see it. All right, see that? All right. So what we don't know. We'll find out with this Mercury uh, service manual. We're almost ready to just, uh, put it together, guys. We're almost there. We're, we're reading a couple of things that we didn't know. And uh, not really none of this stuff, but you get the point, bro, where the bookmark is. Come on, stop, stop acting crazy, bro. Just, just sit down and watch. I can't believe some of you guys are actually taking a dump watching this video. That's disgusting. Let me see if we can... Guys, don't do this at home, okay? Alright, essentially this is what the cost is to get an Uber to bring us to the part. Alright? Um, I'm not getting Uber pool because... Alright? Come from pickup, yes. You're gonna go to Marine Express, guy. I'll call you now. I'll tell you what your job is let me see finding an uber that's not her real number people relax it's an uber number so don't disregard the number hello it's alfred from the passenger hi alfred good how are you Right. Good, good. Listen, um, I got an easy ride for you. Um, I'm not going to be at the location that I'm putting the address to. Um, it's okay. it's, a, it's an actually a marine store that I'm trying to get a part that I need delivered to my location. So, um, look at this guy making a scene out here. Hold on a second. Okay, for the part, for Alfred. Okay, I'm walking in now. Okay, okay. well, I'll just All stay right. on the phone while you're there. Might as well. Okay. <laughs> All right. I've never did this before. Hi. No. I'm looking for Ozzy. Okay. Bye, Ozzy. Ozzy? Tell her you're the, you're the I'm Uber driver. picking up a part for Alfred? The Uber driver. Okay, he got it. He got it? Huh? Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, thank you. All right, okay. so the part is on the way. You can uh, begin that yeah. trip. Thank you so much. And you have just right, saved you're you have just saved me a ton of time. Okay. okay and I'll I'll, I'll right. and if you want to get five stars, make sure that my part is happy. Put it, the seatbelt on my part. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I get five stars, but I don't you, get anything you, less than five. You get a five star. You guys at Uber are awesome, guys. That's why Alrighty. Uber everything. All right, thank you. Okay, supposedly my part
part is here. I have a YouTube channel. Don't worry about me, but thank you so much for doing this. I'm gonna tip you guys now. Thank you. So I didn't put you on there. You didn't see your face. Thank you. Thank you though so much. My part is here. Guys, that's it. It's on here. <sighs> Uber for the win, baby. Understandably, they don't want to do that or want to be shown on camera because I don't know. Maybe they think they can't do that, but I've done it hundreds of times. Ahí está la pieza, mira. Bam! All right, so that's how you save some time, people. Now, let me close this door. Yeah, let me close this door, and we're gonna have lunch. And I don't even have to waste any time. Okay. We're in the money. All right. Let's start building this stuff up. Let's start. Let's start putting this together, guys. If I don't wake up one morning, it's because of that crap right there. So addicting. All right. So I'm tired of saying all right. I feel like Richard Hayes is just listening to everything I say. All right. All right. I can't. I can't help it. That brain dead thing in me. So let's look at the ultra gray from Permatex. We couldn't get the three bond. Seventeen something. Part number, but da, da whatever. So um, we used this in the past. We're confident it's gonna work. So bash me in the comments below. I don't care. Doesn't matter. So that's what we're gonna use for the head gasket now. So it's a gasket maker, guys. Ultra Gray Advanced Formula Maximum uh, Maximum Torque Gasket Maker. That's what it says. All right. We're looking at all the specs and everything they're asking us to do, but. You know, sometimes you gotta work with what you got, and this is one of those situations. God, that coffee looks incredible. Look at that. We're gonna put the uh, the rings now on the pistons to specs, like they say, to specs. Um, so it's time to go to school, guys. I don't know. I'm sure we all have funny stories in school, but I remember one when I was in school where you randomly there just minding your own business and. Your mind starts wandering, and your uh, your 13-year-old or 12-year-old uh, puberty kicks in, and then the teacher says, "Alfred, come do this on the board." And you're like, "God, Miss Rodriguez, I'll take the zero. I can't stand up right now. This is a problem. I'm 13 in puberty." The unboxing part number. Alright, let's do this. So you guys can get a good look at that. See that? Alright guys, just so you guys see something, because I just noticed something and I just want to correct it and it's something that might happen to somebody. Okay, I, there you go. You see that little T right there where it says, right here where it says 2T? Now look at in the manual, okay, it says here, the top piston compression ring must be installed with the T side up, spread the rings just enough to slip over the piston. Alright? You see that? So, so you guys can say that all those Cubans from Haiti are just dumb. We know how to read. All right, we were, we went to an American school system, so don't don't. And if we're in Haiti, we all have cars and machetes. All right. There you go. Boom. So the T on the very last ring, guys, on the top side ring. 
Alright, so every day you learn something new here on the Cuban network for bar sales. You see that right there? And it'll kind of tell you where to. And that's that's how it. And then also there's a note here that says um, ensure that the O ring spacer gap is properly oriented on the piston. The O ring spacer cannot be rotated after the bottom and top oil rings are installed. Okay? Who says these Cubans don't know how to read, bro? Sixth grade gen education, and I'm and I'm doing this. I'm just kidding, people. I got I got more than ninth grade. I'm not gonna say anything above that. Maybe tenth. All right, I went to night school. Leave me alone. You guys know you watch that show, night school. They're all done. Okay. So all the piston rings are on. Um, let's go check out that crankshaft. See if we start. Making a scene guys, we're getting there. We're getting there. The block has dried up already. I want you to see it. Alright. Looks beautiful. Fantastic piece. Oh, amazingness. See that? It's got a little four stroke oil in the cylinders. I mean, it's not better than new, but it's going to be better, 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 better than new. I'm just kidding, guys. I just want to rile out my haters. Um, where's that other part that I needed to find? There's a part here somewhere that I gotta find. All right, let's start putting this on. It's dried up, she's ready. She ain't gonna bask in no sun anymore. So here is the product that we're using on this chain. And uh, the product is called Metal Rescue. The chain obviously was a little oxidized with some rust and stuff like that, but it cleans it up really, really good. Stuff does a good job. I always like to rinse everything with water. Um, Metal Rescue is non-acidic, so it's a uh, it's a good product. So we're just getting it now. We're just rinsing it. I always like to rinse everything off of something, and then what I'll do now is I'll dry it out. We'll blow it out, and then we'll oil her up, and she should be fine. See, all that rust came off completely. See that? Beautiful. Alright. Look how new it looks. Beautiful. See that? You guys ever heard that song from uh, Johnny Cash? One piece at a time. Uh, you gotta, you gotta look it up. One uh, piece at a time from Johnny Cash. I mean, I'd put it on here, but then YouTube won't go ahead and let me put these videos up. I put somebody else's music, though. I don't know. They'll tell me that. I don't know. See how nice and clean. Show the last one, seña la última. All right, and there you go, the last one's in there. All right. There you go, guys. All right. So. It's all clean. We didn't want to have any moisture or anything. That's why we dried them up real good. We cleaned them up real good. Just before we close her up, I, I just I want to show you guys because we're pretty proud of the job that we've done. Okay, see that? We're pretty proud of this. 
I'm sure we'll mess it up now, but at least getting to this point, we're pretty proud of this part. All right, and we got a little book. We've been going to school. We got a little Mercury handbook uh, brought to you, brought to us by the people at Suzuki because I have not received a call from anyone from Mercury. But it's all right. We don't need their help. And neither do you. All right. What you need is YouTube and a lot of good people that leave comments below and and. Uh, I just love staring at people. No, no, I'm gonna get a call tomorrow. Well, we saw your video. Uh, we uh, we never knew that uh, we had one of our engines fall off. It's news to us. I mean, one million views. I, it wasn't us. You ready to go in, guys? You guys excited? Hey, smash a like button so far yeah, if you think this thing's gonna start up. I mean, wow, let me tell you, man, this is. So, we got some oil going on here. We're going to put on the first piston. I'm so excited, it's, it's unbelievable, I'm giddy. Like a baby going back home. Boom! There she is, Miss America, with her first heartbeat back, her first of six. Boom, boom, boom! Ya llegamos, ya estamos llegando. We're getting there, guys, we're getting there. Oh my god, I hear her purring in my head right now. Maybe it's my schizophrenia, or, or maybe I'm just uh, visualizing the future. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> this is awesome, huh? Every day you learn something new, guys. You learn that you can have a garbage can and a fan two feet from each other. And that's just four stroke oil. You have to have a Coleman cooler to do this, guys. And some old shirts. So it just soaks it up there. I mean, I wouldn't recommend this with a Yeti, it's too expensive. A little bit more in there, and that's it. We'll have all the pistons in. Wow. All right.
Man, let me tell you, um, I don't obviously do none of this stuff. My thing is inflatable boats, but every time I see uh, Rodolfo work, you know, and it's funny because his backdrop is basically came from Cuba, wanted to work hard, got an opportunity at a well-known shop down here in South Florida, and uh, he began from the bottom, and he worked himself up to, you know, learning all this stuff, all because he wanted to work, you know. And that's why I always tell people there's no substitute for experience and there's no substitute for work. Sometimes people say, oh, you know, how are you going to get that guy and this and that. Listen, this guy's hands have passed through hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of motors. So I think that's enough. I think that's more of an uh, important factor for me than a piece of paper that says you're qualified to work, okay. I would pick experience a hundred times over. And now the block just breaks because he messes up. Damn! I knew it! I knew it! On cue! On cue! It just happens. I, it, it never fails. <laughs> I always like to lighten up the moment, guys. You, like, you guys like that stuff, don't you? <laughs> Isn't that life? It's like, Brett Favre is having such a great game. Uh, INT! Six! Six! Oh, they just scored six! I know when it happens. It's like that. But that's it, guys. They're all in. I know. I just got off message. Something like uh, someone you guys may know. Here she is. All new. Just came out of her. All right, that was part number. Come on, baby. Fits like a glove. Like a beautiful glove. <coughs> that is amazing. Wow. I'm hearing that idol in my brain right now, guys. I'm hearing it. You know where you know we're getting there. I know, I know my haters right now. At first they were like, and you'll never find it. And then when I found it, they said, that thing's garbage, you'll never start it. And when I start it, they're going to say, that thing will never run, it's going to give you a thousand problems. And when I'm running, making memories, they're going to say, one day it's going to go kaboom. And then at that time, you know, I've made a thousand memories. The engine has, uh, you know, done his or her work. We don't know what she is yet. We still have to identify her or him. But, uh. That's life, man. I'm telling you guys, disregard the noise. You're going to have people all along the way, and sometimes they don't even realize it. Sometimes people don't even realize they're haters, you know? And you know, and then they wonder and question why people don't want to be around them, and you know, that negativity, it spreads. Stay away from that, you know? Be optimistic. If you fail, that's fine. Whatever. It is what it is. But uh, I'm enjoying this process. You guys remember we took it to the machine shop. So now, now we're just gonna go ahead and open it up and put it together. This is the only thing that we didn't clean ourselves and look how bad it looks. This is when we took it to the machine shop. Um, listen, um, I'm not happy with the service that we got. But you know, it is what it is. You'll burn me once, but never again, you know? So, you know, we shouldn't be having to do this stuff, especially when, you know, we paid somebody to do all this. It's better than what it was, but I mean, like all this should have been cleaned up. Like, you no, know, you don't feel it. It might, they might say, oh, well, it's not, it's not, it doesn't matter. But look, it does matter, you know? 
it's a difference. You, you, the difference is what you don't see, you know? So yeah, it's kind of frustrating. See that? And everything else has been, oh, actually we can't show it now, but everything else is just perfect. And then we show this, I don't know, it looks like it's got syphilis or something. What happened to her, you know? So, well, whatever. We're giving her some penicillin and get her cleaned up and make her look at least reasonable without, you know, because we're not going to, we're not going to degrease and scrub and anything at this point. We're not going to put more water on this. That's it. It's over. Now we're just going to blow it out a little bit, you know, use this a little bit of scotch bright and, but it just gets me upset that, you know, and I'm going to call the guy out on it. I'm going to call him out and be like, hey, look, you know. I should have I should have mentioned that at the time. I thought that it was not going to be a big deal, but once we started cleaning the other stuff ourselves, we realized, you know, hey, there wasn't a lot of effort. I don't know if you guys can see here. It's kind of like numbered E2, E3, E4. You know, they're all going a certain way, and then you come over here. And the number, famous number 13, is on backwards. So, man, let me tell you, there is a saying in Spanish, lo barato sale caro, and it basically means what's not expensive ends up costing you more. And uh, now we're we're dealing with the crap of this. So, it's pretty frustrating. When you gotta clean up someone else's mess and, and you paid paid them to do this, you know? And the Verado School is uh, eight hours in guys. Eight hours into the Verado School. So we're figuring this out as we go, but I think that's what uh, makes it more interesting, huh? Right? That we actually got a book and we figure this out. All right, so we just took the gasket and we put it on here. We think it's going to be easier because this is on here. So, and now we're going to pick it up and we're going to put it on there. Um, let's put it on. Just presenting the screws, guys. I'm sorry. We're just presenting the bolts. Let's let's talk properly here on this channel, like we know what we're doing. All right. Richard Hayes is on to me. He's like, "Hey, I know you have no idea about none of this stuff," and he was absolutely right. And that's what's gonna make it every even better when this motor goes vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> God, it's actually getting there, guys. Why? Wow, it's actually getting there. I'm, I'm kind of still bitter about this machine shop that did a freaking disgusting job. Disgusting, but whatever. I mean, it, it was really bad, but I guess the guy didn't want to go ahead and I don't know. I don't, I don't even want to put that energy out there. Forget about it. It is what it is. It's over now. going on here all right well he was explaining to me that the camshaft is supposed to be put a, I'm sorry the, the crankshaft was supposed to be put a certain way but he doesn't have the tool so we're gonna have to do it a little different but 
sometimes we gotta work with what we got. You know, at least we know what we're doing wrong. finger was brought to you by the rib fishing network good lord that hurt ow it hit me pretty good oh you know what every now and then you gotta take one for the team right it's like back in the days you're 20 your friend hooks up with the hottest girl in the club she's there with her friend and her friend is a nice girl. That's all you can say about her. But you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm taking one for the team today. Damn, my fingers right now with a heartbeat. I don't even know what to say. Wow. I'm still feeling it. We're bringing it back. The last piston is getting hooked up to the crankshaft. It's looking good, guys. Looking good. The second torque has uh, happened, and now we're going to do the final torque. And uh, what does it say here? Let's see what it says. The final, it says... Uh, turn an additional 90 degrees all right so all right so I guess 90 degrees it is torqued up all the way to that last 90 degree turn so pistons on rings on crankshaft on I say so far we have accomplished a lot. Everything is cleaned up to the best of our ability with the tools and the know-how we have. So, so far we, pre we feel pretty good about what we've done. The, see this line here? All right, and you see this little arrow? There it is. There it is. You have to have it lined up right here. See that there? Important the engine uses an interference valve train design. Do not rotate the crankshaft or camshafts when the timing chain is loose or removed from the cam tech areas. All right, all right, we already read that, so. All right, guys, so what's the word of the day? Not all right. It's to specs. So you remember earlier in the video when we were cleaning that chain and we put it in oil? Now it's about that time that she comes to work. She's going to come to work. Come to work, baby. Come, honey. It's time to, time to put in your hours. Your little sabbatical in Costa Rica is over. I'm trying to hide away with two lionfish in the middle of the Atlantic. Don't be acting crazy, Verado. You got many hours to work trying to reverse retire with 12 hours. Unacceptable behavior. You're lucky I'm letting you fix this epic situation that you created. But uh, let's put it on, baby. She is putting on. Okay, so now you gotta see the different color links because you got to line those up now too we'll look at the uh, oh there it goes I guess you already read it it's Costa Rica acting crazy might as well go to Panama play some poker or something I don't know 
Well, the fishing is good in Costa Rica, so I don't know. Maybe it wasn't too bad. But we gotta pick that up now. I mean, it's not touching though, because we got two blocks under there. Okay, so you can see another arrow right here. Okay, which is where the other link goes. So it's here, we already matched this one up here. Now we got the tensioners that we're gonna put them on there. So, same thing with the other one. Another arrow there. They have it marked with that blue. And uh, that's it, I mean. Now with the tensioner, we'll go ahead and adjust it. This one has to be in the center, so that one's right. And uh, I think uh, we're getting closer to the next step. It's giving us a little bit of a, a problem here, but I think we figured it out. We had to put this one here first to be able to, I guess, make everything fall right into place. Remember, we have to keep everything lined up. On, and it looks like it moved again. It moved again. Se movió otra vez. Hey. Yep, it moved again. I think we got it. I think we got it. I think we got it. We got it, guys. We got it. We busted it. We're acting crazy. I'm telling you, bro, this little engine, bro. Didn't want to cooperate, but we're gonna smack her back into existence. I don't know, bro. I might put even put her on a shrimp boat, just for acting crazy. Have her run for a couple hundred hours on a shrimp boat, get her feet wet, and then she can go ahead and do some rib fishing episodes. <sighs> Guys, I know I'm talking nonsense, but. It's a long day. I've been holding this camera all day. I really don't want to do this, but I think it's important for you guys to see some of this stuff. Alright, so it's all lined up. See down there? And it's lined up here. Okay. So, lined up. Guys, if I'm going to class, you're going to class too, all right? So, fix a movable chain guide. The torque is NM24 or pounds per foot, 17.5. All right, so, what's the word of the day? To specs, what's going on now? Guys, look right here, it'll tell you, it actually tells you on the actual block, the torque. Obviously, we saw that there, um, what it says here, you see how it says, but 270 degrees, so, dude, we're going to have to put some elbow to this, like there's no tomorrow. Rodolfo's just gonna mark off the screws. The night cometh, but we're still working, guys. We're still working. We will put a little bit of acetone there because we're gonna go ahead and start putting the uh, um, what's it called? The gasket maker uh, on there now. We couldn't get the three bond 1712F or whatever those asking for, so we're using this stuff here. No, this one here, which we've used it before and other stuff. Uh, Ultra gay gasket maker, maximum torque. So I mean, it's good stuff. I mean, whatever it is, what it is. It's what we got. So sent me back about ten bucks. So now he's just cleaning this up, putting a little bit of uh, acetone on there, making sure that everything is clean. No oil residue from everything that we've been oiling and all that good stuff and. And then the cover comes on. Man, today has been a long day.
but she's looking nice guys now you know what it takes to bring back amazingness and I always say it whenever I do anything guys if you're gonna do it give it your all and if you fail whatever it happens you know sometimes your best isn't enough but uh, dude we're working it we are working it let's do this here's the cover the gasket maker the gasket maker is about to go on and uh, we have the gasket for this as well so everything is looking nice and clean we oiled these bearings here and there and I know some of you guys suggested to swap them out but I mean this engine had 12 hours and honestly guys I can't just continue dumping 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 money into this especially when I know electrical issues and you know we'll see I mean and if, if it were bad like the, the uh, seals on the head that I swapped out I would have done it but I, I didn't see them bad and neither did Rodolfo so and like I said this has 12 hours all right Oye, no me deja ver. Oh, happy. <laughs> like, dude, you don't let me. You don't let me see. I'm trying to get the closer for the people, bro. Hey, smash a like if you think I'm doing a good job with this camera. I'm setting Rodolfo here while he's working. She's on. She is on. Now, now the next question is, oh my lord, how are we going to pick this up between two dudes? Alright, so we're putting a little bit of oil. And... Got a lot of torquing guys here. This is uh, it's gonna be interesting. I'll tell you. This little Coleman cooler has earned my respect, and uh, I think I'm gonna get one because it's holding this block like a G. Here we need to do three, according to the book and on the cover it says it here so we have to do three torques right now we're just putting it on or putting them all actually let me see the positioning that this needs to be torqued to let me check this out oh god let's see what we got here let's see what we got okay one two three four five six seven guess so 20 pounds all right come on dude focus so i know it's dark all right that's that's four see it's a four four 
and then after this we have to do 40.5 pounds of torque and then we have to do 270 degrees after second torque okay this is five oh look they're actually numbered so it's even easier you don't even need this it's actually numbered on here I didn't even see that okay you see one two all right good so we don't even need this even better I don't have to be someone's do boy guess so 20 pounds all right come on do focus I know it's dark all right that's that's four see it's a hit quad four and then after this we have to do 40.5 pounds of torque and then we have to do 270 degrees after second torque okay this is five Oh look, they're actually numbered. So it's even easier. You don't even need this. It's actually numbered on here. I didn't even see that. Okay, you see? One, two. Alright, good. So we don't even need this. Even better. I don't have to be someone's do boy. You have to do it in this order, guys. You have to. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. It has to be done. To specs, because that's the word of the day. You know what? Go watch this video twice. Make sure you watch the ad in the beginning of the video and take a shot every time you hear the word specs. And then send me a hateful comment. And it's going to make me feel good in the morning. Alright? But having that said, I think we're done for the day, guys. Next video, you guys should see this bad boy on and uh, and hopefully we can get her started all right thanks for watching part four will be next and uh, don't forget to watch the initial video of the impact of what happened uh, if you haven't seen that all right there's a whole playlist I'm gonna try to link it up above all right guys thank you so much Rodolfo oh yeah despide ahí la gente we're done we're done for the day we'll catch you guys next one all right i know i know i know it's, it's, it's kind of boring to watch this but you might learn something all right we're out of here